Hi, this is Jeff, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a menu with uh, completed states uh, on the uh, menu buttons to to show user their progressing through the content. It's a really simple thing to do, and it really helps the user uh, uh, in a motivational way. So it's sort of because they're actually giving, uh, getting visual feedback that they're progressing and that they're almost done, um, and that's a, a psychological feature that, well it's really easy to, to, to benefit from. So let's take a look. I've, I've created this simple scenario here where I've got a menu and uh, three chapters and at the end of each chapter we'll jump back to the menu. So let's see how we set that up. I've created a couple of uh, chapter buttons and I use the storyline buttons for it um, but you can also use uh, any other kind of graphic or shape you like. One of the cool things about the buttons and if I go to the states I can see all these states buttons have uh, is that I when I added a state and I add a new one, a completed state whoops I can actually use the buttons uh, icon feature to add a check mark icon as you can see there are a lot of icons I can use but there's also these these nice check marks I can use so I, uh, I'm gonna take the first one so my completed status uh, state now looks like this. So that's a really nice way to uh, indicate a user has uh, has finished the chapter. Very simple. Now let's do the same thing for the other uh, uh, buttons. And normally I would go to the Format Painter button and copy all, all kinds of features but the actual icon does not get copied. So I can still use that and paste it here to get create a new completed uh, state but I still need to edit my state and add that icon there. So unfortunately the uh, Format Painter does not copy all those features. Done editing states. Again I'm going to copy that. Boom. So now I complete this there. Edit it at the icon and voila done and as you can see all my buttons now have a completed state with a check mark in front of it so that's cool and, and I've, I've already set triggers so they jump to the specific chapter so that's good um, now let's take a look at a chapter and what happens there in a chapter I've actually set a trigger set complete to true because I've created some variables here for each uh, chapter and I still need to create an additional one for my chapter 3 um, which is a true false variable so by default complete is uh, false I have not completed my chapter and when I finalize my chapter I have a trigger that sets my variable for that chapter to true quite simple Well. As I mentioned, I'm missing the complete three here for chapter three, so let's add that. It's a true false variable, and the default value is false. There we go. Now, so this sets the uh, variable to true, and then it jumps back to the menu let's see how to set one of those triggers I want a adjust variable for variable complete 3 and I want it to be a value of true not when my timeline starts but when the user clicks the next button and this is where you need to pay attention because the order of your triggers uh, is important what happens now is first when I click the next button it will jump to the menu slide and then it's set to change the state but this will not happen because I'm not on this slide anymore so I need to move this up so now first my uh, variable will get set and then I'll jump to my chapter now let's go back to the menu and what we need to do here is add triggers to change that state of that button so let's see how, how well I set it up create a new trigger which is going to change the state of 
my button chapter to complete it when the timeline starts but only on the condition that my variable completed one is equal to the value of true see so what happens here is the state of the button gets changed to complete it when the timeline starts but only when the uh, variable complete one is equal to true so let's see what it looks like I've got my button I'm gonna click on it I'm in chapter one finish my chapter voila so that's how easy it is to give users a sense of progress uh, by using some very simple states and triggers to uh, uh, to adapt the look and feel that's it hope you like it